continuity of government. Doesn't sound so scary, does it? Until you find out how it works. Which is they got clandestine government agents embedded among us. And when Directive 51 goes out, those agents get activated. Our government has sleeper cells in our own goddamn country. Warning, now leaving the safe area. Nothing but useless crap. Man, easy kill. Time to knock some heads. New York ain't the same. Man, it's Get the double way. You're outnumbered, sweetheart. No sweat. Nobody gets away from us. You are one dead fool. Do what you need to do. That's mine! Screw you! Now what are you gonna do? Just hand it over! Where'd that come from? Over there? We all got unfinished business. Supplies now located. Uploading coordinates. Hey, just taking care of me.
GTF reinforcements requested. Warning. Incoming hostiles. Warning. Hostile forces approaching. Alert. Explosive device detected. Forces approaching. Warning. Explosive device detected. Forces approaching. Warning. Explosive device detected. Notified for pickup. Data scanned. Downloading files. We've gotten some potentially incriminating evidence and some big corporate negligence. And a suggestion that someone was closer to a cure than we thought. But we need to find the person that evidence came from. We're looking for a possible whistleblower, a, a Vexix employee named Judy Walters. Her last known location was Vexix HQ.
One cut. <gasps> No turkey, no meat, at least unspoiled. The woman said they'd have a delivery in two weeks. <sighs> we could do a nut roast, I guess. Well, that doesn't sound very Christmassy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, or at least an oven broiler. What's more Christmassy than that? Hey, what about hot dogs? We have some of those. We could cut them up into chunks, wrap them in biscuit dough from a tube, and call them pigs in a blanket. Hot dog chunks for Christmas dinner? Just like Santa intended. Come on, we can sell this. You know the kids will love it. Okay. Hot dog chunks it is. I'm dreaming of a chunky Christmas. Readings indicate an echo nearby. Listen to me. We just can't. They'll find us if we stop. I don't care. Honey, listen to me. I don't care what the Andersons told you. Hey, watch it, asshole! No, not you. Just get the kids packed, and don't forget Melissa's medicine. We're getting out of the city. Sorry, sir, but I'm gonna have to ask you to We're move. We're just trying to dry off. Give us a break. Okay, I'm sorry, but you'll have to take your things and vacate the area. This is private property, and you're obstructing traffic. There ain't no traffic here, man. Come on. They're not monsters, Mr. Velassi. I'm going to try and persuade them again. Judy. This is a story whether you persuade them or not. L listen, listen. You don't have to go on the air with this, but if you can at least get me some kind of proof. I need to go. I'll call you back.
Hang on. Mr. Velassi, I meant it. I'm not talking until I give them another chance to do the right thing. And I hope you convince them. But if you don't, I'll be waiting outside to get you out. I'm live on the air at 7. Judy, they want you in the boardroom. God, it's getting crazy out there. You know, I thought of taking the day off and calling in sick. My throat's a bit sore. With the compensation reviews coming up. Hey, Judy. Judy?